Hallelujah. Good morning, church. Good morning. I'm a living proof of God's testimony, and um, I'm so grateful for His mercy, His love, His grace. Um, two years ago, I experienced a lot of things, and it was just by God's grace I survived it. I came out strong. I came out better. I came out loving Him the more. So I'm just so happy today, and today happens to be my birthday. So I'm just so Let's celebrate the Lord for our God. sister. God. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. Good morning, church. Good morning. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Brendan, I want to thank God. There's so much to give thanks to. From the little thing to the medium to the big. So if I start today... Because my journey has been like 11 years. Just tell us one years. of them. We'll, we'll be satisfied. I want to thank God. Hallelujah. I left the bank in October. Because I wanted to be in control of my life. But I'm sorry. I want to thank God for this church. For this ministry. Because most of you have seen me with crutches. I had an accident in February. But when I came to this altar. I saw myself kneeling down. Without crutches. In my wound. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I want to thank God because that's not me. I thought I couldn't do it. But when I got there, I noticed I was doing it. I want to thank God. And the most recent one, <laughs> I've been doing real estate for a long time. But one thing about me, I do things to empower myself, not just for the money alone. To be a better person in my industry, in what I want to do, I have passion for. So it was happening, but... There was no money. I mean, you know when we talk about money in real estate, I mean the big money. But it was a small one, but I said it was okay. But our God was so awesome. It was giving me that strength. I was seeing my mates flying. I even have some mentors here. They would know. And I'm like, Father, what am I doing? But then there was one that just took place. Every time I want to get there, something just happens. Thank you for Daddy. I know you are watching too. Daddy has been ministering to me. It just broke. I broke this this week. I can't tell you all, but it broke. I got to the settlement table. We closed. This sister was from Ivory Coast, so you can imagine. I want to thank God because God has done it. Let's he celebrate the Lord for that breakthrough. It's a breakthrough. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. It's permanent in the name of Jesus. Amen. All things are possible yes. for them that believe. Yes. Amen. Sis, God bless you, man. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am out here to thank God for his faithfulness in my life and in my entire family, but um, especially for the month of May. Usually I call the month of May my, my month. In the month of May, on the 17th of May, I added a year as a lawyer. From the year I was called to the bar. Hallelujah. That year. In the month of May, 23rd of May, I added a year to my marriage. Hallelujah. That year. In the month of May, on the 30th of May, I added another year to my life. Okay. God has been faithful. Praise God. If you look at me, you will know. Hallelujah. Why I am saying that God has been faithful. 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 I have remained strong. Hallelujah. Not by my strength, not by my power, but by his grace. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> to God be the glory. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for what the Lord has done for me and my family. It may look real to you, but I know what the Lord did. I'm not taking it for granted. There was a time we were meant to travel. But during that period, I was having some, you know, my instincts were telling me that this travel is not meant for us. But I don't know. We're going for a burial for my husband in my husband's uh, town, in my husband's compound. So I don't know how to relate it with him. It would seem as if I'm not ready to travel or so. So I, and most of the time, whenever I have revelation like this or have some things like this, God took confirming through him. So, but this one, I'm not hearing anything. But a Sunday came before the travel be on Wednesday. We came to church and we came and meet Pastor Isti. 
and he prayed for us. After the prayer, we went home, you know. I said, God will take control. Then we'll go for the burial. That same Sunday, we got home. After everything, we slept off. My son woke up around that five or thereabouts. The next thing I heard him say, he said, Mommy and Daddy will not die in Jesus' name. I was, I know this is a confirmation. I said, I want, I want more of this. At least, I was happy that I heard this from him. Then the next one is that I was doing something in the kitchen. My husband came and said, this travel, we are not going in it again. See what he saw, which means the confirmation has come. And we channel our prayer towards those who traveled. And God has been so gracious because I don't know what would have happened. And my instinct don't lie to me. So God has been so good and been so gracious. I have come to say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. It was a month of covenant exemption. God has just exempted you for certain things. Hallelujah. Go on, man. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. I was just sitting down there, debating whether to come out or not. And eventually I just said, let me come out and give glory to God. Like she said, May is like my mother too. I was not born in the month of May. But the first inspection we had in Piwa was on the first of May. My daughter... The first baby that cried in our home was born in the month of May. Okay. And of course, chairman also is also was also born in the month of May. Mm -hmm. But something particular happened in this particular month of May. My son, all of you know him as Excel, did two surgeries in this month of May. Mm -hmm. The first one he did, we thought it was the end of the surgery. Pastor Philip came to the hospital, prayed for him. He said something to me, Sister Jane, they say it's a minor surgery, but let's not take things for granted. Let us pray and let us remember the prayers. He did that surgery on Tuesday. It was okay. We thought we'd go from there. On Thursday, the, the doctor called us and said he has to go into the theater immediately. That his car result came back. And if he doesn't do surgery, that by within a short time, the brain will go dead. That the bread, what do they call it? The gray matter will become, uh, you know. I was worried because that was chairman's birthday and we had an event going on. I wanted to be there in the hospital. I thank God for men who make quick decisions. My husband just sent him a message and said, please go on with the, the surgery. We couldn't get there because the man said he had to go into the theater. And the surgery that was supposed to take 45 minutes took over one and a half hours. Because when he was doing the second surgery, he now realized there were some other things he needed to correct. It was those that saw me in chairman's birthday party that day, we see me walking up and I couldn't stay in one place. I was like, I should be in the hospital. I shouldn't be here. You know, but to go to the hospital, even at the time he called us, there is no way I would have got into the hospital before the surgery. I just managed myself. And about what I have hours later, my eldest sister who was there in the hospital sent me a message and said they brought the child out of the theater. I just want to give glory to you. Hallelujah. You know, taking care of Excel has been a work of faith. You know, and I'm just grateful to God that this second surgery, he did the first surgery when he was less than three months old. That was when we did the first surgery in 2013, October. 22nd. And now we had to change. In fact, two, three years ago, Dr. Wachier was the one taking him to the hospital, wanted to do the surgery there, but the doctor said it wasn't time. You know, but recently he began to have frequent attacks and all that. And uh, since we came back from the hospital, in fact, the boy has been so improved. He's even sharper. In his Hallelujah. Hospital. Let's celebrate and the Lord just, this morning. I just give God all the glory it's, in the name of Jesus. It's because of his mercies that we are not consumed. Yeah. Hallelujah. Uh, good morning, church. Good morning. Um, so my own story is... Um, is a story you have of, uh, 30 seconds. 30 yeah, seconds, yeah. okay. Um, it's done so much for me, I cannot say it all. But I will just say just two, so that you know how it's done so much for me. Uh, one was that we celebrated my dad's one-year remembrance, you know, um, in, in the month of May without any assholes, right? Without any assholes. A lot of men depart and their homes are never the same again, you know? But God has taken us from 
glory to glory, strength to strength. And the yeah. children are, you know, firmly Hallelujah. together. Hallelujah. Uh, the second one was, um, uh, <laughs> sorry, my mother-in-law came over to, she hardly comes over and, and, you know, I love it anytime she's around. And she came over to just say, okay, you know what, let me stay with you guys. And I began to play, stay more, you know, stay more. And at the point, she was meant to go back on Sunday. On Wednesday, she had an attack, you know, right in my house, you know. And we just thank God because normally nobody sleeps beside her. We just told my daughter, you know, go and sleep with grandma. And around 3 a.m., my daughter just ran into the room. Dad, mom, grandma, 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 you know. And I went into, you know, into her room and... She had already vomited four times. You understand? We didn't know it was heart attack, but because something similar happened to my dad, right, before he died, so I, I could link it that there's something, you know, common between these two trends. And we began to call our doctors and, you know, cut the long story short, they told us to lie her down. Went round as early as six, went round for aspirin and some other medications. None was available, you know. Hospitals were chasing me off to say I have to register or bring her in as an inpatient, you know. No empathy again in this nation, you know. And for me, so from 3 a.m., we then called an ambulance, right? And the ambulance didn't come until 10, you know. So people don't survive, you know, that kind of, you know. And we took her to the hospital and the doctor was saying, well, you brought her at the nick of time, you understand? You know, and she stayed in the hospital for one month, you know, that's to tell you how severe it was, you know. But I just want to thank God that, you know, it's not a story of she went to her child, her daughter's house, and she never returned, you know. So I just want to say thank you, God, you know, for his mercies, you know, that endured forever. Hallelujah. You know? I, I just want to Hallelujah. say thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Okay. It's not the last, but it's the final for this morning. Go. Hallelujah. Amen. God is faithful. Always faithful. He's damn in the house here. Mm. There are some things God will do for you. You don't know how to say it. Two weeks, two weeks ago, two Sundays, no, three Sundays ago, I think it's three Sundays ago, we we're woken up around uh, after 12 midnight, around 12 to 1, let me say to 1. So my elder sister's son, he should be in the house here. He knocked at the door. That they've kidnapped daddy and mommy. And we're like, ah, kidnap? So we started calling. It was the younger brother that was calling us. The second son that was calling us. I think they were still lying on the ground. They broke into the house by around that 12 midnight. They shot sporadically into the house. Where everybody were lying down. When they were able to own the light, they adopted uh, my sister-in-law and her husband. She's a professor in the University of Joss, and they said they've been kidnapping professors. So they took them away that night, and uh, by the time they called us, I think after two hours or so, they started calling for ransom. They said we should um, get 15 million and the rest. But I just want to say, God showed up. I called the prayer group, we're all calling, everybody pray for us. All the watches of that day, they were praying for us, and God had mercy. God had mercy on us. We, we weren't able to raise anything near that amount. But when they took it to them, they released them. Exactly 24 hours they were released from those people. So we give God all the praise. He alone is worthy. We wouldn't have known what we'd be saying by now. But he showed up for us. Hallelujah. Amen. Secondly, my younger sister, she was in the choir here. Before she traveled for her masters, she had a baby. You know? Before um, last week, was it last week we were praying for um, in the breakthrough prayer. We we're praying destroying patterns. We we're destroying patterns. There's this pattern in my family that, in fact, when you are pregnant, everybody is scared because it used to be so difficult. It used to be a near death situation at every point. Not for not for one person, not for two, not for three, just like that. So for Fast her, forward. for her, as we've been praying, and when she went. She went in normally under two hours. She has given birth. Hallelujah. She was one chatting, calling everybody. Amen. And the devil thought he had not finished. After giving birth, after like 45 minutes, they had to rush. She, she passed out. They had to rush her to the theater to cut her. They said she was having internal bleeding. But we give all the glory, all the honor, all Can we rise up to on God our feet for as we just thank God this morning? Lift up your hands love. to the Lord. Just take. 
thank the Lord this morning. Let's let's give him praise. Let's give him thanks. Father, we are grateful for all that you have done, for all that you are doing, and for all that you will yet do. God, we say thank you. We are grateful for answered prayers. We are grateful your, for your power in manifestation. We are grateful for your mercies. We are grateful for your compassion. We are grateful for your protection. We are grateful for your deliverance. We are grateful for your provision. Thank you for everything, Lord. Take all the glory, Father. For in Jesus' name, we've given thanks. Amen.